Five Duggarisms That Sparked Major Controversy Thoughts on Abortion It's obvious that Michelle and Jim Bob Duggar are pro-life. However, during a rally to support a bill that would limit abortions to the first 20 weeks of pregnancy, the matriarch of the Duggar family called the practice of abortion Baby Holocaust. Michelle went on to cite her daughter Josie as an example of a child born prematurely at 25 weeks. If those who are voted in do not support life, then they need to be replaced by those who do. Speaking of the Holocaust, Jessa Duggar caused quite a stir when she posted the following to Instagram after a trip to the Holocaust Museum. I walked through the Holocaust Museum again today. Very sobering. Millions of innocents denied the most basic and fundamental of all rights, their right to life. One human destroying the life of another deemed less than human. Many took this to mean that she was blaming the Holocaust on the theory of evolution. After a trip to the Creationism Museum, she went on to claim that fossils are proof that the biblical story of Noah and the Great Flood was true. Thoughts on Overpopulation The Duggars have definitely done their share of procreating. When asked about how their large family is contributing to overpopulation, Michelle Duggar replied, The idea of overpopulation is not accurate. She did go on to say that their family tries to buy, used, and save the difference in an effort to avoid wastefulness. Thoughts on alcohol. The Duggars made waves again when they protested at a meeting for the local Alcoholic Beverage Control Board, objecting to a proposed beer license for a gas station in their town of Springdale, Arkansas. Michelle told the board in tears that, personally, I don't think alcohol needs to be convenient. To the surprise of many, her plea worked, and the board rejected the Mini Mart's request. However, there were several other convenience stores in the area that got the green light to sell alcohol. Thoughts on marriage. Many people were shocked by Michelle Duggar's tips for being a good wife. They included, a husband needs a wife who accepts him as a leader, and suggesting that a wife destroys her husband's manliness by being financially independent. And when it comes to the bedroom, Michelle is always there for Jim Bob. She said a friend once told her anyone can fix him lunch, but only one person can meet that physical need of love that he has, and you always need to be available when he calls. Mm -hmm.